Hey there YouTube, Steamtown Gamer here, and today I'm playing Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. So this game came out in 2012, it's available on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Uh, it's not as easy to find as the uh, other Resident Evil games, but with a little effort you should be able to find it. It has to be. Um, you can probably get it for less than 20 bucks as well. So it takes place in 1998, obviously in Raccoon City, given the outbreak. Essentially, what's really weird about this game is that we are not playing any of the main characters. We will see a couple here and there, but what we're really doing is we're playing as the umbrella operative. We are the bad guys in this scenario, at least throughout most of the game. I'm not playing any, uh, any spoilers, but we're going to see a lot of enemies. Remember, um, Raccoon City was Umbrella's playground. They owned the city. They had facilities scattered all around everywhere. They owned a lot of facilities, even medical uh, facilities, hospitals. They did everything to their... Um, they did anything they wanted, whenever they wanted to, whoever they wanted. And yeah, it was just... These facilities are also huge. I'm just surprised how they managed to keep it a secret. Anyway, we're going to get into it now. Uh, we're going to see something a little bit different um, at the start of the game compared to the other games. First off, we actually get to build our team. There's a few people we get to select from, and we only get to pick four. As well as the fact that this game's got a lot of uh, network features as well. We can have people join in, or I think we might even... Versus, we can play Versus online as well, but I honestly don't know if the servers are still online. It's hard to tell. I might um, do another episode where I try to get online or something. I promise next episode I'll find out if they're online, but either way, I'm going online. So first off, we've got to pick this blank one at the start here. That's the main character we're going to be as. Now I'm going to go as Lupo. Lupo is the assault weapons expert. She is always the leader, um, no matter what. But you don't actually have to have her in your team. But if you do, she's the leader no matter what. She's known as the Wolf Mother because she keeps an eye out for her cubs. Yeah. She's very vicious. You can per also purchase um, additional costumes as well for each of the characters. So I'm going to pick two boy, uh, two males and two females, and the game has already selected my team that I really want. Vector, Beltway, and Bertha. They've actually selected the ones that I want. Bertha is medical, we've got demolitions, and we've got uh, Vector who is martial arts if I recall. Anyway, this game is not really well known. They didn't have uh, much advertisement for it, and uh, most places don't really stock it, but the game is alright. get into it now. So we're also going to see a lot of um, new enemies. A lot of mutations, a lot of um, sort of background stories as well. It's really going to come out of this game. My name is Bertha. Ready to play. Vector here. Good to see you again, sir. Call me Lupo, Delta Team Squad Leader. Command, I've rendezvoused with Delta Team. Understood. Now find Birkin and secure those samples. Failure is not an option. You heard him. Let's move.
We're entering the lab of Dr. William Birkin, an umbrella scientist attempting to sell classified samples of a weaponized virus strain to the U.S. government. You mean Umbrella's T-Virus? No. This is a new gene-altering compound Birkin's developed called the G-Virus. It's significantly more powerful, and he's in possession of the only known samples. There's a detachment of Umbrella's biohazard countermeasure service on site who will likely try to protect him. They are unaware of this operation and are considered expendable. Aren't we on the same team? Couldn't we just pick up the phone and call? The UBCS are just mercenaries. They can be bought. We can't assume their loyalty to the company. So what's the objective? Intercept Birkin and secure the G-Virus. So this G-Virus, uh, it basically mutates you into a huge-ass monster with a giant eyeball on your shoulder. Welcome to Umbrella. Yeah, it was, it's his first appearance was in the... All right, box. weapons oh, live. Sure We're ready for action. Sure that's what happened. All right, it's open. Let's go. There must be a new type of B.O.W. <laughs> Can't imagine those things in battle. Come on, let's keep moving. So does approaching. Take cover.
got a location on Dr. Bergen. He's just entered his lab. Get in there and obtain those virus samples. Roger, Command. Proceeding to Birkin's lab. Stay focused. Birkin's already set up an exchange with the U.S. military. We may run into special operatives before this is over. <laughs> <laughs> Get your training. If they get too close, use hand to hand combat. these videos and then when I get a thousand views combined for one um, video game I'm gonna buy something related to the video game and then show it emergency there has been a security breach avoid contact with unauthorized personnel that wasn't us we're using authorized access we might have company There has been a security breach. Avoid contact with unauthorized personnel. Sorry about this. Now, we won't see any zombies in this level because this is the umbrella safe zone. Repeat, there has been a security breach. Birkin Avoid is not that contact far away with well. unauthorized personnel. This G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. So Birkin has gone crazy. Repeat, there has been a security breach. You know, Avoid contact with unauthorized personnel. He's gone crazy with the whole um, G-Virus thing. He doesn't, he's, doesn't want anyone to take it away. Um, he, he's basically good as well, remember? We are the bad guys. Repeat, there has been a security breach. Guard this door. Do not let anyone approach. You, come with me. There he is. So, you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. <laughs> Sorry. But I won't just hand over my life's work. Stop it. You might have a sample. Okay, let's move out. So a bit of audio issues here. Just wanna plug something in. So what William Burkham just did was he injected himself with the G-Virus, but it causes you to, you know, fall unconscious. 
so they just took it from him. That's basically what just happened. And here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you take these guys, sir. <laughs> Escape routes are on lockdown. Waiting on you, sir. Copy that. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. Heading to the rendezvous point now. Understood. Whoa! I can't turn around, I have to just walk back. Shoot that hide, it's 
will only hurt the moon. Birkin injected himself with the G-Virus. There's nothing you can do! Get out of here and make a full report to management! What about you, sir? I lost the sample. I'm going back for it. So that's the end of the episode. Oh, not episode. Episode, this is the end of the... Um... Well, mission. So let's see how I did. I got an S for kills, S for deaths. I just collected D, but S for something else. I got a grade A, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now this will take us straight back to the main menu again, but we can just select the next mission. Well, it'll be automatically selected for us, so that's pretty good. I felt Victor actually, Victor didn't do that much. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and change it to, I believe. I'm gonna switch to her, because this place is gonna be a lot more crowded, so I'm gonna switch to her. All right, ready? So, all oh right, this is the actual title of the mission. This is what we have to do. Days have passed since the USS lost the G-Virus and witnessed the metamorphosis in William Burke. Raccoon City is also lousy with disease due to the T-Virus outbreak. Wolfpack is ordered to destroy evidence at Civi Hall, linking Umbrella to the epidemic. So remember, Umbrella doesn't know yet that the city is just going to be nuked at the end of all of this. So right now they're just covering up their tracks as much as possible, which is why they set this team in. Five, four, engaging now. So I played the first mission, but it's been some years since I've played anything more. I've only played this game once and then just put it away. So I don't actually know what to expect in this mission. Move out! 
Our objective is to reach City Hall. I can't believe our brothers blaming us for the outbreak. Beyond the cleanup crew, what happened during the week that they must redeploy us? We won't be extracted until we can sufficiently cover up Umbrella's involvement in this. So a lot of craziness has gone on. Uh, yes, we got the first aid spray. Um, obviously, we just saw a lot of radio um, interaction as well. It was going on through multiple departments, USS, the USS, you know, 911 dispatch. Just basically what's happened, I don't think the virus had barely begun when they had just done that first mission. So it was maybe the first few hours of the shit going wrong. Anti-bacterial spray, what the fuck is that? I don't know what that is actually. Maybe there's a place that take damage, I can't remember. It's been so long since I've played this game. Command, we've reached position one. Position confirmed, Wolfpack. Proceed into the cold zone. Uh, science officer I just picked up here, the field scientist, she will help with tasks getting done a lot faster. That is a woman, looks like a stewardess of some kind, with her intense uh, intestines ripped out. Hey, quiet. Heard something. I can hear it too. Get your weapons ready. So, obviously after that outbreak occurred, or not outbreak, the first mission, they basically hid somewhere in the city. Probably near, uh, in a building nearby while all the shit, you know, started hitting the fan in a secure location. Until they were dispatched to go to the city hall to retrieve the doctors. To get another female, like a secretary of some kind. Coffee cup. You can't tell who this is, but. They're reading each other now? They've become desperate. Reloading. down without very little fight. I'm just going to go ahead and adjust the settings, uh, video settings. Gamma, what the fuck's gamma? Okay, gamma radiation. That ain't gamma radiation. Just making it a bit lighter for me so I can see the game a little bit, a little bit better. That's a lot better now. Oh man, that is, if this is all pitch black. I couldn't see anything, so this helps me out a lot. Oh look, someone was working the uh, construction and cut their hand off. Okay, let's go in. Stun grenade. Data sweep. It's over here. More data. So we're going to be going all around the city. Point of fire! Here's UBCS. Nikolai Genoviev, UBCS D Platoon B Squad. Your umbrella security service? Our management must be in a panic if they set you. Save it. What are you doing here? My team was sent here to rescue citizens, but there's no time for that. City Hall is a mess. I'm trying to find a safe zone. There is no safe zone. What's going on in there? 
City Hall is crawling with infected and some unidentified military personnel. They're looking for something. Why? What are you doing? You leave the questions to us, pal. Let's feed this guy to the locals. Is you yes. He'll get himself killed somehow. We've got orders. Let's move. All the best with your mission. The city hall has been locked down. Access the security room and override it. So Copy that, that command. And he was actually in Resident Evil 2, which I, I knocked to number three, Project Nemesis. <laughs> he actually gets ripped apart by a uh, by Nemesis himself, so it doesn't work out for him too well. I, I, I didn't know he was in this game at all. Damn. Yeah. I didn't really, I didn't realize that. I got this uh, ability. I hit triangle, and it's sort of like. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's an overcharge thing. I didn't know my weapons had overcharge. Hit triangle, but and then my weapon becomes super powerful and ignite people on fire. That's awesome. Anyway, as I was going into it, Nikolai was in Resident Evil 3 Project Nemesis. He gets ripped apart by Nemesis. Uh, he was ordered to ki uh, take out other survivors, so there's a good chance he's actually killed the remaining squad mates of, you know, his squad, which means. Jill Valentine is walking around here, and Leon's in the city as well. Remember, it was his first day on the force. Blah blah blah, and they were all sort of trapped inside. Drop them on. Oh, great. Wrong fucking button. 30 rounds. Not that much, but it would have to do. More ammo, sweet. Not that much, but it will have to do more ammo here. Once again, not that much, but it will have to do. Can't pick up the first aid spray. Perfect. There we go. All players must be present. Enemy contact! Back off! Take them out! Government forces have already entered the area. Do not let them secure that evidence. Oh! <laughs> 
Stop moving. Command. We're inside the city hall. There we go. Sweet. So we've just entered City Hall. Enter the security room. There should be a console. Use it to override the security lockdown. So this is the console, just collecting all the data. Good. Now you can access the server room and destroy all of the city's records. Check out that monitor. Looks like a security feed from earlier today. That's Nikolai and his team. Nikolai fed his team to the infected. <laughs> they died like rats. But we still need to destroy the devil. All infected! Let's move! Before Nikolai, yeah, he was ordered by Umbrella to take out the other members of his team in exchange for a bigger bonus. Or much, much larger bonus, actually. But that's essentially what's going to happen. And now Umbrella will basically do something similar to us. Uh, it's a bit of a spoiler alert, but you should have figured it out by now. Umbrella is assholes, and they're basically going to throw us to the wolves unless we do something for them. Essentially, they're going to like lever at us against us.
hook. Uh, Nemesis is definitely in this game. Now, Nemesis is actually a form, a more advanced form of a Dominator, which once again will appear later on in the games as well. Not the games, the uh, movies. Dominators were a prototype, um, you know, bioweapon that's just this really big hulk things. That's what they are. But that's what Nemesis is, essentially. Probably close to the end of this mission. That was a security guard, but his head has been ripped off. All surviving players. I'm guessing that the team members can actually die on missions, but they will come back in the next mission. Okay, here we go. Open door. Looks like Nikolai's handiwork. Who knows how many people he's fed to the infected? His mind's been warped. Mind are objective. This is nothing new. So, no, his mind's Quit been stalling. warped. Quit stalling. Concentrate weapons door. fire on those servers. Umbrella told him to do it. That's what happened. But this was the uh, room on the surveillance tape uh, where he basically shot this guy near the door. This guy here. I think that was shot, or possibly this guy was shot in the head. Then the zombies just came through. But what else killed them? I mean, the zombies are all gone. Why are they? It doesn't make any sense. Did someone else come through this room? I suppose it's possible that, you know, the whole, idea, the whole concept is there's people just running around trying to survive as well. So... They just haven't shown them, but there's definitely a lot of um, other survivors just trying to, well, get around. Open fire. One. Three. Four. Six. One more around here. What's this? Is this ammo? Assault rifle. No, thank you. One more. Good. Now proceed to the records room and finish the job.
fitness role to the record room to finish the job. There's a record room to say that we have evidence on Umbrella in the servers. I'd say that's what this record room is. This is the evidence. Like that is a trip wire, a laser trip wire. Okay, sorry about that, just some audio issues there. Where's the last one? I hope it's not through those lasers. I don't know exactly what will happen if I trigger the laser. Will an alarm go off? causing zombies to show up or will a explosive device goes off it looks kind of like an explosive device yeah i'd say explosives are going off because there's team members setting them off for me but i can probably detonate it by shooting it yeah okay that gets rid of it that's a game changer i didn't know that door locked here we go <laughs> Oh, no, there is one more. Found him. All right. Oh, 
Turn. Hey, Command. We got us a little barbecue going here. <laughs> now let's fucking get out of here before those things escape. This way. What things? The zombies? Maybe he's referring to those hunters that they saw in the base before those things escaped. That might be it then. Don't need that. So this is right at the start of the outbreak, so there's no giant spiders who have made nests in, you know, weird areas. It's just really just us. Beautiful. Sure is, isn't it? First aid sprays. That's cool. This has kind of got a feel of um, Left 4 Dead to it, you know, picking up certain items, having them, you know, quickly disposed. Grabbing first aid kit, you know, that's what it sounds like. Nikolai, what the hell are you doing? Why did you sacrifice your team? <laughs> they served their purpose most excellently. Just as you did. Nikolai, stop!
forget that you caused all of this. In the meantime, we'll look into that UBCS operative, Nikolai. Nikolai, you told him to do it. You told him to do it, you dicks. the first episode I hope you enjoyed it because I certainly did uh, write in the comments if you think I missed uh, anything obviously I have missed a couple of things I'm just gonna go ahead and read this uh, lights out mission that we're going to do next when umbrella when umbrellas paper trail at City Hall is destroyed wolf pack is ordered to suppress other threats to umbrellas of uh, reputation survivors but with an old enemy and his new friends in their way, killing innocent people. It isn't a, it isn't an easy way for easy way for Wolfpack's thought. As easy as Wolfpack thought. Okay, that's pretty crazy. All right, like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, leave a comment on what you think I should do next, or what game you should think I should play next. All right, YouTube, catch you later.